Hello my friends, today is November 11, 2018 today is. I am recognizing more and more people that Russians have zombified, okay? Uh, you see this, this here, this is, this is like a little ulitz, a little street that you would go straight from the center. Uh, what you see exactly behind me is a forest, there are some settlements. Uh, to the left and to the right side, but he goes straight, definitely you hit the forest. And you do so uh, all along this path that uh, I have suggested settlements would be located on left and right side of uh, the main path that splits on, on the left and right as soon as you uh, as soon as you enter the forest, basically. Okay. Here's what it is, my friends. Uh, I am not going to go from Poland. I don't care what's going to happen. They can kill me. They can do whatever they want to do. Um, my life really is not my life. Uh, I, uh, I was hijacked. Uh, I'm not going to say by aliens, but really by criminals who had me witness atrocities here in Holland, uh, Holland, I'm sorry, in, in Poland. Americans refer to this as a holocaust in Poland. And uh, boy, I got to see, I'm not going to say just about everything, but when you see so many people crippled, some even dead, uh, when you see people coming forward to help you out, when you see people believe in you, uh, this ex MK Ultra members here in Poland, they they would just come forward and um, you know they wouldn't say hello this and that it's me this and this, but obviously they're motivated, you know. Obviously they're motivated. Obviously they know who I am. Obviously they did not forget this ordeal. Uh, look, it's horrific. Uh, plenty ladies obese this I remember it used to be a beautiful 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 young woman uh, oh my god how beautiful and uh, over the time when they brought me here they just like balloon I'm not gonna go into who or this and that uh, basically what I want to do is I want to fight for them I want to make what's right, right. This really, I didn't do it. I really didn't do it. Uh, but, you know, I am the kind of person that uh, values human life. For me personally, just loss of a single Polish life because of mistakes. Uh, I'm not going to say mistakes in the past because Poland was not strong enough to withstand pressure from Germany and, and Russia. Uh, but right now, at this moment, things could be done that would make this, this things definitely absolutely possible. And for Poland and for the Ukraine, that I know for sure. They don't want to do it. I already criticized this on the news site. And by God, if I ever get the chance, I will do it. I would not want another Polish life to get lost either in a war uh, or as I have suggested you stuff have happened here by the way Rostislav and Valerio should not be allowed to go out of the Poland they should not allow them out of the Poland they should not allow either of the two out of the Poland Rostislav escaped Valerio I will not forget it was like a Gestapo here it was like a Gestapo uh they presented me to polish world to the polish people as an uh as an ultimate evil you know they presented me as someone that is a hitler loving um actually they found a way and they compared me to a ukrainian individual whom Russians have also tortured uh, and uh, Polish authorities uh, didn't like whatever you know Ukrainian uh, 
nationalism and uh, the guy caused very bad things in World War II. A lot of Polish people were killed uh, as a result. And um, they wanted to ICMO with me with this individual through I have nothing I don't know what possibly what how you could actually somehow manage to um, associate me with this individual Bandera Stepan Bandera I I have no I have no idea I have no clue how would you how would you associate me with him I have no clue I mean number one I would give everything to Poland I have that's number one thing and number two I always loved Poland uh, I didn't like it because sometimes they would piss me off, but that didn't matter. Uh, it really didn't matter if, uh, you know, whoever did, it didn't matter if it was Polish, it could be British or whatever it was, he got straight back in his face or her face. Um, I just uh, met another individual. I just met another individual from this street where I'm gonna go through. I actually felt like I would go and talk to him about it. Uh, but I think this is completely unjust. I don't think that, that I have the right to talk to him about these things, even that this gentleman was the one that stood up for the Poland. He stood up for me when I was under MK Ultra. He stood up for me in front of this Russian uh, authorities, KGB people, that would just go and scan basically the whole area and according to uh, collaboration or any kind of sign of resistance or anything like this, they would just select the people for a kill, basically. What they would do is, for the most part, they would cripple people. They would make people crippled. And I will not forget, this gentleman I will not forget. I, I don't know, I don't want to talk about any more mine and this and that. What I want, I really want for the Poland. I really, um, I am not alone in this thing. And I want to share with the people this. Um, there are people here, uh, I have no idea really uh, how I have made it through this. I have no idea. I have no idea. And probably they wonder too. I don't know. When they read my news site, the stuff that I have mentioned, what happened in the U.S., uh, what they have done to me in the U.S., and there is a lot of stuff I did not even mention, a lot of stuff I did not mention. And I, I witnessed all these ordeals, and I'm here actually seeing these things, and I'm reporting about these things. It seems to me, uh, it seems to me completely incredible, really. But I am here, and I'm here because of God. I am not here because it would be a coincidence. I'm not here because uh, I would just go, and I would just somehow. do this because I would want to do it no way when I see so many people crippled when I see what KGB have done here uh, I don't believe that uh, it is I really that goes on I don't think that this is I this is really not against the Russian people I just happen to love Russian people uh, and I know that this is gonna end With God's will, this is going to end in a way that I will end up in a Moscow with the Russian people overthrowing. Uh, I don't, I don't know how to refer to them as uh, and bringing peace into the Russian people and to us here because it's like a magic circle. It's like a magic circle. It's. Um, When people don't know who you are, you cannot really do this, but if people would know who you are, uh, if people would get to know you, 
and if people would get to see these things here, if people would get to see through my eyes what I have seen throughout the years, I'm talking about the Russian people, and then in that case, they would not want this. They would not want these things to, ha to be like this. There are some Russian people here, very good people too, that could not agree with this Russian system and are very sorry about this. But there are many of them that collaborate against, uh, collaborated and collaborate, continue to collaborate against Polish people, against the Polish nation. Basically, equal in Polish people with the Nazis, and and uh, you know, this is completely, completely unacceptable. This I I cannot believe that. When I was in the school, they teach us that we are Slavic people, and and basically the stuff that I see here is just, it's confusing. It's completely confusing, and so I know that they teach them that too, it's the same stuff. I know that in Poland they also teach Polish people about the same group of people that we are, and and basically from what I see here, this is just uh, this is just something that I'm gonna have to live through. That that uh, you know, I don't know how this is gonna end. I have no idea how this is gonna end. Uh, all I know is that. I want to pursue my life here in Poland and uh, I want to raise the conscience in people and I know that uh, people are going to take, at one point people are going to take the right side. I'm pretty damn certain that uh, people are going to take the right side. At one point they, they have to take the right side. There is no other way. Uh, but to do these things, the preliminary step would be to make Poland strong, powerful, independent in decision-making. Uh, Poland that could uh, guarantee that not a single life ever is going to be lost, uh, like I'm about to talk again about. Um, this gentleman is right here in the first house. This would be his house right there if he would go across. This gentleman, one time, he was like this, uh, resistant, resilient to them for about maybe, I don't know, maybe one year, two years. And then one time, he, they just crippled him. And right now, I saw him, he was walking with a dog like this, like, a, like he would be 90 years old. And uh, he is not. He is... I don't know, maybe he's, um, I don't even know if he's 60, he probably is 60, something like this, but he is not, he is not 90 years old, he's all crippled. Then there is another young lady, beautiful lady was, um, I think she's younger than myself, I think she probably is about 40, something like this, and, uh, I will not forget this Polish girl stood up for me too. She was resilient. She was, uh, she sweared, she owed it uh, to help me if I ever make it here and so on. But the next thing she had, and we did not spoke about this. In fact, I have not attended not even a single class in her school. She works in our Center for Immigration. We have spoken um, just perhaps twice, maybe, that we have spoken. Um, and this was my asking her if I could use a classroom, uh, you know, after hours and such. She appeared to have, like two, three years down the road as we would come and visit here, something like this, she would suffer like almost, as far as I remember, she almost could die. Again, this is again MK Ultra Proofs I'm talking about. Again, go ahead and ask her what kind of health problems does she have. Uh, who did this to her? The Russians did it. She said, uh, I'm not really sure, but probably was the Russians that did this thing because they did it to so many other people. Uh, she was young back then. This must have happened sometimes in 2004, probably, I estimate. 
2005, 2004, I would say. And she was in a disbelief that young, healthy, so intelligent girl uh, that she just uh, was crippled, basically was crippled. She got very angry with me afterwards and also bitched me that uh, don't even dare about uh, mentioning any of this stuff, uh, that she now works very well with the Russian people inside of the center, aka Chechen people, Kadyrovs. Teaching them basically Polish language. So basically crippled her terrorize her to the point that she would not even no longer dare to even say boo or anything like this I don't know what the situation is with this gentleman um, if he is not watching my program I know there are other people that watch my program uh, in fact probably from this area around here uh, I know so because I see uh, certain things uh, and so um, they might talk to him. I would be very interested in having an interview with him. I am, I'm going to be in December 47 and I am strong, healthy individual except with what they are doing to me with uh, whatever I have under, under my brain school, uh, under my school, uh, but other than that, I just want to say that, you know, I just want to say that uh, it's got to be a collective conscience that has got to be raised. Uh, for me personally, they promised me, Ruskis promised me, uh, you know, that they will have like a delegation that comes from Moscow and stuff like this. And what they do basically is they just, uh, they're like... Uh, presented to me like some kind of funeral people something like this they come and they just order when it what needs to be done and your death is signed and you dead and stuff like that well um, you know I lived free um, meaning that regardless of they, what they have done to me and that's really what made me strong uh, I have always find a way around. They could never cage me. They could never uh, place on me so much terror that I would not, uh, you know. Many people probably refer to as cover, cover my ass, cover myself. Um, prove that it was not my fault, whatever they were doing. Uh, and then even beyond that, when they pressured more, and then the only thing they got, they got even more in return. They they didn't they never got what they wanted to get. They basically they really brain kill people. They just they just shot human mind with with amount of uh, you know pressure things you know stuff like that. They tried a lot, but uh, it does not work. And I'm pretty sure that they do have a certain purpose in this world. And the, my purpose is not being a refugee. My purpose is not running away from reality. My purpose is not to be... Um, I don't want to say a coward because that would insult a lot of decent people. You know, I hope you hear me what I'm talking about. I hope you... You understand what I have gone through to uh, to become a light for this world, to 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 flashlight uh, the world with the truth. Just go over and see what I have gone through. So my site is over there, my new site, so where the people can learn about what what went on, what's going on. Not even the U.S. government dare to mention anything in respect to Russians, what the Russians were doing here. And it was the U.S. government that was all the time, all the time, the U.S. government was all the time interacting with these people. It did not have to be that way. It did not have to be that way. There were so many people that could do so many things. They could stop all this um, in a split of a second, immediately. And uh, some way, somehow, they just didn't. 
Now I did learn about, I think in Poland it's about 5,000 suicides every year. Um, stuff I was taught that, you know, about this brain cancer and stuff, you have no idea what kind of terror. Uh, they told me, you know, all kinds of stuff, all kinds of scenarios, how they get you, they get you in a brain cancer, then what they do is they treat you and uh, then if, if maybe if you don't say anything, you get better and they play with you, you know, they have like a whole uh, scenarios, uh, you know, with the graphs ready, how your health stagnates and stuff like that. If you say anything and then the only thing that happens is you go, he died and stuff like that. Plenty of stuff like this. Uh, but I got to tell you something. Um, it's not that I don't have anything to lose. Uh, Russia occupied Poland and Eastern Europe for over 50 years. Uh, I got a lot to lose. I could have a wife and kids. I could have a lot of things. But, you know, my dear Polish people, I'm just going to put it this way, and Ukrainian people. What am I going to do with my wife and kids if I'm never going to have a freedom, if they're going to get the same as I got? Tell me about this. What good is for me to go and make kids to have a wife if they're going to suffer the same fate as I am? You may want to think about this. For the Russian people, this is this obviously this is a total disgrace. They would just go. Let's go. I'm going to go toward the center right now. I'm going to point out the house. Then, sir, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop one time. I'm going to go buy your house. If you're going to be in a mall to talk to me about what they have done to you. Because here I am. I am the one who was brought here for many, many years from the U.S. Donald Trump was involved in these things. I am the one you have to talk to. I am the one you have spoken to under MK Ultra where I was. So if you're ever going to be in a mood to give me an interview about this stuff, there is no doubt that MK Ultra was. I have proven that MK Ultra was. And I would love to do it with you, other people. Or you can just uh, live like this in a, in a fear here. Whatever it is that you want. This here, this would be his house. This one, this house right here. Okay, so it's an evening, this is a good thing. But he definitely knows who is it I'm talking to, talking about. Dogs are always happy to see me. Hello. Next house that we are coming is a couple from uh, right here from Poland. And their story is such that they moved to Holland. This is the house here. They come here, they would come here. Uh, you cannot see it much and that's quite okay. Um, however, this is this is in the street here. This is this is quite okay like this that, that uh, just maybe for the Polish authorities to understand. Ha, I was told that they would help me out give me even a green light if I would not go against Donald Trump. But Donald Trump is the main perpetrator. Donald Trump is the individual because of whom all this shit have taken place. From the beginning, I was wonderful. I was a wonderful. I was so, so, so wonderful is what I was. Then Donald would look into every little thing I would do under MKUltra. 
and also compared me with other people whom they would test it under MK Ultra probably and compare match my results. But he did not mention them that my case, my MK Ultra went almost for entire 12 years intensively. Uh, by the way, about the couple over there, they live in Holland, I think in Hog. Uh, if I would be given a picture, a photo of their first tour, uh, I would be absolutely able to identify one because I was there. Uh, you see, I know that they got a second store. I have reminded myself of that. And lady alone mentioned me they got a loan. This is how they got. Okay, the one who secured that loan was Donald Trump. So they keep him in a good memory. Kaczynski would, would do. Kaczynski would help. Uh, help. I mean. He wanted to be seen in whatever he was, you know, wherever he would bring those people. He wanted to secure his existence, basically get as many people corrupt as possible by helping them out. So he could have them on his side. But the latest results here, this place here, this uh, uh, in Grotniki here that uh, took place, uh, did not exactly confirm uh, his... Uh, people did not exactly favor him. Exactly, uh, there was actually a lady that won this time who uh, was kind of uh, um, conscious about this lady is that uh, injustice took place against them. Uh, where are we right now? Okay, uh, this street and then there is another a couple they have like a little house. It might be, I might have to go here during the daytime and repeat this. I remember now, they work at the postal office, they're retired. Yeah, I remember quite a few things. Um, I actually got kind of lost and I'm not really sure where exactly I was right now. But this is, for me, this is very interesting. Uh, it's very interesting and it's... Um, when, I, when I see these people, for me, this is, this is heartbreaking. This is heartbreaking. And right now when I think about... These people, how they help me out here in Poland, then I feel that, uh, you know, I shouldn't be crying about myself. Uh, so, that's all for this video. Anyhow, today is November 11, 2018. That's a beautiful dog I was talking about. It's a German Shepherd, but really is beautiful and well trained.